you know, one of the things that I struggle with the most, um, probably when I was a teenager was this thought, this kind of reoccurring thought that God was disappointed in me, that God, (laughs) that God, every time he looked at me, he was, he'd always see me as not, not enough for him, that he would look at me as, as just insignificant and worthless. And honestly, that was kind of reiterated when I was young, like not from any parents or anything like that, but I used to listen to different Christian radio shows and they'd always focus on this idea that, I don't know, that this just this phrase is that we're a worm to God, that we're just like insignificant, just little like compared to God. And I understand what they were saying. They're trying to say how like amazing God is and like just how small we are compared. But it kind of drove this idea that it's just like, almost like, why does God care? Or if he does look at us, then he just sees this insignificant speck garbage. But it took me a long time to realize that, that that's not true, that he doesn't look at us like a, like a worm, like an insignificant bug on the, (laughs) like he, he sees us as his child. He sees us as like, as someone that he wants to be with that he wants to spend time with, that he, that he loves. That'll take me probably my whole life to really understand and believe that. But I think this is the beginning of, of that process of, of truly, of truly beginning to believe that God loves me, that he's not disappointed anymore, that he wants to be here.